So here I am down at Horseshoe Lagoon. Um, my painting journey pretty much starts with this environment, in which I'm lucky to live really close to, literally next to the Murray River. And uh, the wetlands, this is Horseshoe Lagoon, and in the distance is, it's now Can Hill, another great place for walking. Um, so we're right next to the Murray River, and um, these are the wetlands connected to that. A bit of an exercise nut, so I hike around here all the time, hills, wetlands, and in the summer I do long swims in the river. Um, because of this, um, I have a real and palpable sense of knowledge, connection, and immersion to this incredible place. Um, I have to pretty much take this back to the studio in the form of memories and photos, which then the challenge becomes to convey this feeling into being and relating to the, uh, to the landscape. Um, into my paintings and into art. And here's another little panorama of Horseshoe Lagoon. Um, always changing. The light's always slightly different. Today is a bit of an overcast day. So the colours are a little bit more muted. But there's always Really interesting little nuances, the light, the shapes, the patterns. Um, these are the things that I continually find really interesting and they do change. Every time I come down here, there's always new things to explore and wonder at. Radio. So, um, in my studio, um, back in the studio um, after going for my walk or swim. So, before I start a canvas, I will draw the basic forms out onto just sketch them out um, using memories, uh, photos, and then then transfer this onto the canvas. So, over here, um, this is one that's quite new. Um, the first paint layer is basically blocking out the areas using a limited palette of colour. Um, and then slowly I'll add the detail layer by layer. And normally I'll work on uh, three or four pieces at a time um, because I absolutely believe it's important to keep a, um, a real consistency of ideas across the body of work. Um, in saying that though, my work has... Um, and my art practice has changed over time, the process. Uh, so I think it's important also to continually challenge yourself, definitely make mistakes, um, try and achieve the initial idea or intent, and then figure out what's working, what's not working. So never become complacent. It, the work, the practice should never be easy in my mind. So for me, um, frustration and determination are constant companions. Um, so at the moment, my intent is to have the viewer be immersed, curious, um, questioning, and hopefully delighted in my paintings. So while they're still an obvious landscape, um, I let the work try and dictate its own path as I work without trying to replicate um, basically a realistic uh, image. So the colours, the shapes, the marks of each layer will then provoke the next moves and the painting starts to sort of evolve in unexpected and curious ways. Um, this You can see this in a real life landscape which I see all the time. For example, some photos up here. Uh, there's always ambiguity in the light, reflections, the shadows, even perspective. So these are some of the elements that motivate and um, interest me a lot. Um, so, yeah, basically to ask questions of what's real, uh, or just enjoy the areas of beautiful paint without any sort of specific reference. 
And ultimately, um, yeah, I really hope my paintings are interesting, curious, and um, beautiful.